God wants to use you. God's called you to go and to impact the world for his name's sake, for his purpose, for his will on the earth. You, Ty. You, uh, Katie. You, each one of you. You, Edgar. You, Brother Rudy. You. You. Yes, you. You. You, Evangelist. You, Brother. You, sister, Adrian, you, Chloe, each you, Inar, each one of you, my sister, my sisters, each one of us in here, God, in saving us, wants his kingdom to come, his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. That can't be done without participants. That can't be done without you and I. Amen. Grabbing a hold of what God said to us uh, after his resurrection and that right. is that we are to go and to tell. Right. We are to go and to teach. Mm -hmm. I heard Evangelist Eddington and we got to get delivered from this in the church uh, regarding judgment. We run from judgment. And the Bible, Jesus said, or the word of God says that judgment will start in the house of God. Right. Not only will it start in the house of God, I want you to understand that God's trusted or he's entrusted himself, his power in you so much so that the scripture says you will judge not only the world but angels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will. Yes. Christians, that's in, that's in your Bible. You read Revelation and other scriptures, New Testament scriptures, Old Testament scriptures, the body of Christ, Jesus will not, the Father, they will not just stand alone to judge. Right. You will take part in this. Amen. And so it doesn't it doesn't hurt for you to begin to exercise judgment now. Mm -hmm. yes. And not just judgment on others. I love what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 11, 20, uh, 3, when he's getting us prepared regarding uh, taking the Lord's Supper. He says, if you judge yourself, mm -hmm. you need right. not be judged. That's right. Meaning if you give an inventory of your own heart, your own mind, amen, the Lord will help you in judgment. Now that doesn't mean that sometimes when God comes with judgment through another, that we reject it. Right. I can't get no help. Right. All right. You must recognize the things that are going on in the world, the issues that are happening in the world. We can send all the money we can over to Japan. And all of the missionaries that we can over to Japan and over yes, areas where destruction is happening. Yes. We can send all of the missionaries and evangelists out yes. in Dallas, Oak Cliff, uh, in this South Dallas area. But until the righteousness of God is reestablished in the land, we're dealing with the sin sickness problem. All right. The problem has nothing to do with, the, with money and deficits as we see it. The issue is that man's heart needs to be turned back to right. his God. Yes. Amen. And so God wants to establish. God, give us the spirit of the judges. Mm -hmm. Help me not to be afraid. Because see, judges did not just come. There's a difference between the lawgivers. Mm -hmm. The lawgivers, they didn't just, they heard and they communicated. The judges executed yeah, judges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The judges, when they came, listen, things had to get back in line because of the anointing of God on them and the assignment on that anointing. Go and get stuff back in line. My people have transgressed. They left me. Go and don't whisper sweet stuff in their ears. Tell them that the problems they're having is because they left their God. They went after other idols. They went after other things. They found themselves doing what other nations have done and they are experiencing mm -hmm. they are experiencing the glory mm -hmm. of other nations okay. or the doom mm -hmm. or the things that we see in other nations that have rejected God from its beginning. I want you to God wants us to see some things today you and I, you and I this word is for you. When you're going out, amen, even now when you're going in more importantly when you're spending your time in the word of God Amen. Your time praying, your time fasting, your time in devotion. This is not business as usual time. If you've never given a, 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 a sincere focus to God, not just for what you want to do. Amen. All right. Not just for something that that maybe you looked at in the body and say, Lord, that'd be something nice to do. It'd be lovely to go over. Amen. To New Mexico with the youth group. Praise God. Thank God they're back. I heard Minister Johnson encouraging them. We appreciate Amen. God for that. Amen. But listen, Lord, while I'm wanting to do that, I 
need to want to serve you more. Amen. Not just in going to help build somebody else's house. Come on. But get my house right. So when I come to you and I'm studying your word or reading your word or while I'm declaring your word to others, my heart is surrendered to the word and the God of the word. Right. Amen. And I'm not just busy wanting to do works, but I want to worship you through my relationship and my relationship of obedience Amen. unto you, Lord. Amen. I want Amen. to worship you in my lifestyle. That's right. I want you to hear what I think before I say it and be pleased with it. I want you to see what's in my heart and me not try to run from it, but run to you when I know it's not right so that you can help me in my heart, Lord. Yes. Yes. I don't want to run from you, God. I want to run to you so you can help me. Give me the spirit of the judges. Give me, God, a spirit that wants to do right, that wants to run the righteousness and holiness. Amen. So that while I'm declaring your goodness, amen, I know, I know your goodness. Yes. Not just declaring it, but I have knowledge of it. Yeah. Not because I've just said it, and not because you just anointed me to do it. Right. Amen. Or because you commissioned me to do it, but because I've been made acquainted yes. with your goodness. I know Jesus. Yeah. I know him. Hallelujah. And we have, amen, a relationship. I'm in love with him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. See, being in love ain't about what you want to do. Now. Right. Be, being in love has been when, re, when you really get in love with somebody, you lose sight of you and what's convenient for you and what you like to do, and you begin to live your life to please that other person. Right. And Jesus makes it plain before he gets out of here. He says, if you love me, you're going to act like you're in love with me. Mm -hmm. If you love me, you're going to keep my sayings. And so, God, when I go to pray to you, help me to be honest with myself when I open my lips and say, I love you. Help me look at my ways and know if my ways prove that I love you. Yeah. Help me look at my intention and know right. whether or not my intentions are pleasing or not yes. just pleasing, but do they prove yeah. that I love you, Lord? Right. Do I love you more than I love my mess? Yeah. Do I love you more than I love my pity party? Do I love you yeah. more than I love, amen, gossiping? Do I love you more than I love disobeying you and doing what I want to do? God, let me, let me see myself. Yeah. Give me the spirit of the judge. Give me the spirit. Give me the spirit. Give me the spirit of the judge so that I won't get caught up in just going out preaching the good news. That's right. But I'd love to surrender, amen, and experience the good news in relationship. Amen. Father, give me the spirit. Give us the spirit of the judges. He wants it all today. The ministry, I want you to look at the ministry of the judges. Look at Judges 2 and 16. We were praying on yesterday, and the Holy Spirit, while praying, reminded us of the power of God within the believer. The Holy Spirit said to us that, listen, some things that are happening, they are happening. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They are happening for you, for God and you and I to be glorified. I didn't say God and, but God in. That's right. You and me. That's right. The challenges that we're up against, the glory of God moves or it's more present when you see all the stuff that's happening. Paul said it. He said, listen, I found that when I'm going through tribulation, that's when I experience the glory at its best. Or that's when the glory is on me at its best, and I recognize it. We were praying, and the Holy Spirit said, speak to the waters. Command tsunamis to cease. Yes. Speak to the earth. Because tsunamis don't start with the water. That's right. There's seismic activity in the earth. Yeah. Shifts in the earth. God says, speak peace to the, to the land. Yeah. The Holy Spirit reminded me of what Jesus did to his disciples when there was trouble. And he came on the boat after a storm. He asked them, where's your faith? Yeah. Why are you just looking and crying and, and waiting for me to do something? Because they spent more time marveling at his ability to do yeah. Rather than exercising what he'd already given them to do. Mm -hmm. 
He asked him, where is your faith? Exercise your faith. Use your faith. We were praying the Holy Spirit just reminded. You have the power to tell that water and the earth what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost reminded us again that the greatest need now is for the sons of God to arise. Yeah. For judges of God to arise and to look at the conditions on the earth and say it should not be so according to the word of God. Right. And we're not going to stand for it because God's promised different. Yeah. God's promised greater. We don't have to continue to just lay down and allow tsunamis to come. We can't right. speak to the wall. Right. Yeah. Because God's, right. God's in my mouth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And when the word of God's released, the scripture already said that he will accomplish. Yes. But God can't accomplish nothing if we don't release it. Right. God can't do nothing if we don't let the word out. If we don't open our mouths and declare the word of God. God's hand is held up. And I know some of you super religious, amen, that had come into this faith walk with God. Look and think God's going to do everything by himself. But if he was, he wouldn't have made you and put you in the garden. And said, take care of everything on the land. I've given you dominion. Right. Over everything in creation. Now, go and take it and subdue it. Right. Go and control it. God said, you can't speak to the wall. Amen. You can't not only speak to them, but Peter had enough faith to say, I'm getting out of this religious boat. I want to walk the waters. If you're walking the waters, Jesus, I believe I can do what you can do. Right. I know I'm not sure, but if you can do it, I know the very reason that you come on the earth as a man is so that me as a man on the earth will walk in faith like you have on the earth as a man. Yes. Amen. Yes. So if you walk in on waters, then I can walk on waters. Yeah. And so I'm getting out of here. And God says you can speak to your condition. Mm. Amen. You can deal with your situation. Amen. As a judge. Amen. You can declare with the authority and the anointing of God what things should be going on in your life. There's a voice that cries out in the silence.